Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another video about Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And today, I want to answer a question that a few of you guys have been asking me, or at least give my views on it anyways. So, this video is about will Assassin's Creed Syndicate be able to beat Assassin's Creed Unity? So I've got a few points here, um, you know, a few pros, a few cons, um, and I'm going to finish it off at the end and sum it all up. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video, so sit back, relax, smack that like button if you want, or, you know, at the end of the video, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, we're going to jump into this, and I'm going to give you guys my views on whether Assassin's Creed Syndicate would be able to beat Assassin's Creed Unity. Let's go. So the first point I want to make as to whether Assassin's Creed Syndicate will be able to beat Assassin's Creed Unity is the fact that they have completely removed the companion app and also multiplayer from the game. So in Assassin's Creed Unity, we had the a complete shit companion app that I'm not, I'm not even going to rant about anymore because I've just done it enough on this channel. But the companion app was in Assassin's Creed Unity and it completely sucked. They also had the addition of a co-op mode in Assassin's Creed Unity and took out the traditional multiplayer mode that they've had in since Assassin's Creed Brotherhood in 2010. So in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, they are completely removing both kinds of multiplayer modes, focusing on the single player and removing the companion app. Everything that is in the game is in the game you don't have any of these microtransactions none of the companion app none of the multiplayer it is all in the game which is a very good improvement i know a lot of you guys are kind of disappointed about the lack of the co-op and also some of you are like well could we at least have the multiplayer but honestly i think this is great they're returning to the roots of like ac1 ac2 and ac rogue even which was a fantastic game and they are removing the companion app, removing any multiplayer features, and everything is going to feel so much more integrated into the single player experience, and they are going to be relying on the gameplay and the story of the single player, nothing else, no co-op, no multiplayer, no companion app, none of this stuff is going to be a fallback, they are, they are literally relying on the game itself, which is something they haven't done since the first two, and those games were fantastic, so this game hopefully will live up to those other games and hopefully it's going to be amazing if they get it right like they did with the first two games honestly i think they can do it because they proved that with rogue they can do it now with a main ac title they've got to push that another step further get rid of the multiplayer get rid of the companion app focus on the single player and it could be an absolutely amazing game so the next point i've got right here is the clear improvements they've said they're making and you can see they've made to the stealth and the combat that made it much more fun and much more easy. So what you can see from some of the gameplay that they've shown is the combat is now a lot more melee based. So you can see obviously the fist combat, but also you're going to have a few other weapons that you have at your disposal. And it does look a hell of a lot more fun to actually do than it was in Assassin's Creed Unity, which was just sometimes very tedious and boring. I know it was very realistic and a lot of you guys did actually like that, but as in a game and the history of the game being as it is and having that certain type of gameplay, Unity changed it too much and it didn't feel like the original Assassin's Creed series was but this game looks to be returning to that style of combat which is fun and easy but also can can give you a bit of a challenge which we've seen that um, it is going to give you a bit of a challenge because you've got to use different kind of tactics however it's much more fun and fast paced than it was in Assassin's Creed Unity. Now as for the stealth in demos they can make it look however they want although it does look a big improvement from Unity. Even in the Unity demos, you did sometimes see, like, like looking back on it now, you can see some of the issues, but watching the Syndicate gameplay, I'm not seeing the same issues I saw with the Assassin's Creed Unity stealth um, that when, when the game was released. So hopefully they have actually improved it. I mean, we've got to see some more gameplay. We've got to play it for ourselves before we can really judge whether the self has been improved, but it looks to be improved, and they're saying they're improving it. So I trust in Quebec that if they say they're improving the stealth, then they are probably improving the stealth, and this is definitely a great improvement um, on the series because Unity did not have very good stealth, and hopefully they can definitely improve on that and make it a hell of a lot more fun to play, and hopefully it'll actually work in this game, which will be really, really cool and definitely improve the game a hell of a lot from Unity. So one of the big new features in this game is having two main protagonists. There's two characters you can play as in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We didn't have that in Unity. We did have the little relationship going on between Arno and Elise, which wasn't really fleshed out enough, and didn't I didn't I didn't care about Elise as much as you probably should have because it's very difficult to develop a relationship between two characters like it was with Arno and Elise in like a game when they've already got the relationship there you're not building it with Arno you're not you're not learning about Elise and like kind of caring about Elise the same as Arno is because he's had all this history with her that you don't actually fully understand but with Evie and Jacob they are brother and sister and for anyone who has a sibling or perhaps like, it's just kind of like a family bond is that people can be like right they're brother and sister and immediately you kind of understand like 
that both those characters do care about each other, you understand the relationship between each other, and it's way more easy to understand. Obviously, they're going to have that, that obviously clear sort of, like, relationship bond, but also they're obviously going to have that whole sibling rivalry thing like you had with um, Federico and Ezio, but obviously with two main playable characters that people can obviously understand as well, which is going to be extremely cool to have a little, you know, a little bit of banter between the two characters and hopefully they meet up sometimes for missions, but also you're going to have them separate. And this is a great gameplay opportunity as well as a story opportunity because it means you get to experience two different characters. Um, how, how this will play into the story and whether this is a huge part of the story and if they're planning something big with this is yet to be seen but for the gameplay alone it looks to be extremely interesting with assassin's creed unity um they started with the skill tree they started with this customization but now they're putting it onto a bigger scale with two characters and hopefully the skill tree will work a hell of a lot better they are clearly feeling confident in their ability to do this customization and skill tree um like system in the game if they're actually putting two characters in the game with two separate skill trees two separate skills uh, like sets of skills two separate customization options two separate weapon options this is going to be pretty interesting and with uh gta 5 we saw uh they could clearly make a great game out of three characters and do it really really well and execute it really well so hopefully they can do this with assassin's creed syndicate with jacob and evie and execute it so well that it just does work as a game and does work as a gameplay element to have these two characters working together and working alone and the player doesn't feel too disconnected when switching between them. So the last thing I've got here is the improvements on the engine. So when we had Assassin's Creed 1, they had built this all on a brand new engine. They released the game as Assassin's Creed 1 and it did have its flaws, but the engine worked really well. They then improved upon this engine on AC2, Brotherhood and Revelations and the games were fantastic built upon the same engine. They then built AC3 on a new engine, Anvil Next, and the game wasn't that great. They then built upon this engine with AC4 and AC Rogue, and those games were fantastic. So with Unity, they have built this game on a brand new engine, which they made for Assassin's Creed Unity, and they are building upon it with Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So looking at the history of the AC games and how they've gone, this game, right, should be good because of how they've done it before. New engine, the first game on it, not so great. The next game they built on it after improving and getting their feedback and seeing how the game was, it is a hell of a lot better. So looking at this, it does give me hope that Assassin's Creed Syndicate could be great, although it's not confirmed, obviously. It's just kind of me thinking this is how it's been in the past, this is how it could be now. But tell me what you guys think. Do you think that is kind of a if you look at that you can see well you know this game could be really good and it does give me hope that syndicate will be a lot better than unity so starting off with a list of some of the things that make me think possibly syndicate could end up not being great similar to unity is like i said before it's an improvement on the engine but also it is built on the same engine so unity's engine i didn't really like it too much it might have been because of the glitches it might be because of the bad story it just left a bad taste in my mouth but i didn't really like the engine i thought anvil next all that needed was a bit of improvement. It did. They didn't. They really didn't need an entirely new engine for Unity because Anvil Next worked so well for AC3, 4, and Rogue. You really all you had to do was build off of that because the gameplay felt fine. The animations were fine. All you had to do was do a few more different animations, but that's about it. Like the game, like the engine, how it worked was good. I liked it. It didn't need an entirely new engine. However, they are improving on it, so possibly it could be good, but as I said, it could possibly end up being bad. Just the fact that it is on the same engine that Unity was on, and I didn't really like that engine. Obviously, you guys can think differently. Tell me what you think. Like, what's your opinion in the comment section below? So, another point is the lack of modern day. Um, Syndicate has already, they've already said that they're going in the same direction as Unity, and the modern day in Unity was fucking worse than awful. It was just, it, they should have just not included it. It really just dragged the game down. If you're going to go with modern day in an Assassin's Creed game, it has to be full modern day. You've got to go full blown, like main protagonist, like you have with Desmond. That has got to be included in the game if you're going to put in modern day. If you're going to half ass it and do like what you did in AC4, like that was still okay. It was still pretty decent. It felt kind of fun, but then getting pulled out of this really cool world to go wander around an office and do meaningless tasks for a modern day that is no longer relevant to the story isn't fun. But then, even worse, to get pulled out of the Animus, it's already a shit game, but to get pulled out of that into watching a cutscene about something that's completely irrelevant is the worst kind of Bond day. Please do not do that with... I, it's going to happen in Syndicate, it just is, but I, that is something I really don't want in the game because that is going to ruin it. Like, the game could be brilliant, but if you put in that shitty modern day, it's going to feel pointless, it's going to feel boring, like... 
I liked the fact that when you were Desmond, you were revisiting the ancestors, you were visiting these memories for a reason. You felt like it had a purpose. You wanted to continue. You wanted to do all these things because it felt important. But in these newer games, it just doesn't because the modern day is completely irrelevant now. And they should honestly, seriously, maybe just consider completely removing it if they're not going to go back to the roots of the modern day. So another thing is the time period. We have been in the 18th, 19th century for a hell of a long time now. All the way from AC3, 4, Rogue, Unity... Um, we have been in this time period and is the same with AC Syndicate. It is Industrial Revolution, um, Victorian London. And it is a pretty cool saying. I've wanted it for such a long time. But now we've been in this time period for so long in different locations. I would rather they, they left it for a bit before coming back to this time period. I know obviously they can't now because it's not like they can completely change the game. However, I don't think it was the right time to continue in this same time period. We need to go even further back. We need to choose a completely new location, a completely new time period, explore that for a while, and then jump back to Victorian London. That would have worked a hell of a lot better because I am just getting bored of this 17th, no, no, 18th, 19th century time period. It's just getting extremely tedious and boring and everything always looks the same. It's just dark, it's like dirty, it's like boring, it it all looks the same. And honestly, from what I've seen, London looks extremely similar to Paris and I don't want this to happen. I don't want it to look like a duplicate of Unity with certain bits reskinned. Even though it worked for Rogue, Unity wasn't a good game. So don't try and clone Unity with a game that slightly improves upon it because... Unity just wasn't very good and I really hope they do change it a lot because I know the gameplay we saw was pre-alpha footage However, games don't tend to change that much from pre-alpha They're not going to completely reconstruct a city or retexture everything just because it's pre-alpha footage It will stay practically like that um, So hopefully it's not just a complete repaste of Assassin's Creed Unity and they do improve the game I don't know what to think right now, but tell me what you guys think on this in the comment section below and that'll be cool anyways guys i do hope you enjoyed this video honestly we're gonna have to wait till the game comes out to properly talk about all this stuff and to properly see whether it's better than unity or worse than unity although last year i did start to notice some problems with unity towards the release that i didn't really notice at the beginning i started to notice um that the juttery frame rate um some of the clunkiness of the gameplay and genuinely generally just how the game looked i started to realize it wasn't running as well as it probably should and didn't look as good as it probably should and I haven't seen this with the pre-alpha gameplay of Syndicate it looks to be their fault sort of fix a lot of those things that I did start to see in AC Unity however we're gonna have to wait till the game progresses we're gonna have to wait E3, Gamescom, all of those things when they start releasing more trailers more gameplay so we can see if it has any of those problems however it doesn't look to at this point but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to smack that like button because that'd be absolutely amazing comment down in the comments below let me know your thoughts on any of the points i've raised also if you guys want to see a video on a certain topic be sure to comment down below because i'm always up for come for doing videos on your guys suggestions anyways guys i'll see you all next time in the next video be sure to subscribe to stay up to on all things assassin's creed this is the number one source for assassin's creed content so be sure to subscribe right here on this channel and i'll see you all next time bye But if we turn and fly, does it almost feel like we will never fall? And if we unite, we can take this fight straight to the castle walls.